What's up everyone, we're back on the hunt again. We haven't had too much luck lately, so we're changing it up a little bit today and we're gonna head back out to draw. They got a few nice games there the last day, so hopefully it's the same again today. But we're not wasting any more time. We're already on the road, so we're gonna see us out there. Alright, so we started off with a decent enough pile of games in there. They're nothing too absolutely crazy, and most of them are priced around two, three euro each. But we picked up a stack of about eight games here, probably about five or six of them that we don't have that we're going to add straight into the collection. So you can't go wrong with that price all day. And then two here that are probably going to trade for a decent few quid, and we should claw some of the money back. So that's what we like to do all day long. And then just on the way out, I grabbed this little bag of army men. Don't know too much about them, definitely used to love having these back in the day and I think I've seen them sell decently on a few channels out there, don't know whether they're just popular in America or they'll do okay over here. Now that we've got a few bits in our little advert store, just kind of trying to find a few things that we can add to the inventory or maybe just give ourselves a cheap education with. I think for two euro we can't really go too wrong there, I think at the very least we should get two quid back for those. So something to try out in the online store anyway, but we'll keep going, we have another six or seven to hit so hopefully we keep finding a few bits while we're out here. Blu-rays and this one, we'll have to get them all to scan and see if there's anything decent in here. Actually, Disney read them on. So grab three here, as long as they're euro each, we should get a decent amount back in trade credit for them. But everything else that's scan is only worth about two quid. But it's gonna look into these Disney read alongs for 2.95 each. So it would have gone for an eBay. They're from 1995, so. Now that's apparently not worth anything, so we're just gonna leave them behind. So just grab three of those Blu-rays in there. They were euro each, so we spent three euro on them. They're only gonna trade back for five, which we normally wouldn't bother with, but we're gonna be popping into CEX here in a few minutes and trading in a few bits. So they were all sealed. There'll be no trade-in issue, so it'll be handy two quid flip. So this is why not out of the pile, but we're outside the Irish Council Society now, so we'll pop in here, see if there's any games for us today. That's all, look at this. Can I tell you a story about that? Oh my god. So it's got the Wii Party disc in it and no Mario Kart disc, but I think we'll grab that anyway. Wii Party is like a 30 quid game. I've never found a disc only twice, but I've never found a case for it, so. Oh, you knock your way. We're definitely grabbing a few bits in here. Check that one up. Actually, there's no prices in here, so I'm hoping they're all around a euro each. There's more to come here. Tony Hawk. So just quickly grabbed five there. I'm gonna have another double check of the discs and have another quick scout to make sure we're not missing it and um, have a look at what we grabbed then when we get out. 
So the games were only 50 cent each in there, but none of that would have been as fussy with which ones I picked out, but 250 for five games. As I said, the Mario Kart's a bit of a mishmash, but between the disc and the empty cage, we probably covered our cost for the whole day so far already. And then I just got that little Hot Wheel car was Euro. I'll just bring it to the front here, if I'm not mistaken, there. The red wheels, so they're the decent ones. I don't know, it was only a Euro. Just thought it was pretty cool, because it's a 67 Camaro. And then just grab that disc wallet for Euro, because they're always handy for all the spare discs we have. We can kind of separate out by console now, the more than we have. So great little stop, 450 spent. And we're flying today, loads of games, loads of bits and pieces so far. And we still have another five or six shops to go. seeing any games. We've done a few here the odd time. Let's have a look and make sure they don't keep them in a separate area or something like that. But generally they'd be mixed in with DVDs if they do have to. Fifty cents Wii Sports lads with a bonus disc as well. Absolutely killing it today. Everything was fifty cent there. Just grabbed another one of those wallets. Uh, I think that was Meet the Robinsons on the Nintendo DS. Like I said, fifty cent. We weren't leaving it behind. And Just Dance too, which I have to have a proper look at this to see if it'll trade. Okay, we might even get rid of it now when we go to CX because that's going to get us four euro back. So we're going to double our money straight away. So absolutely quality little pile there for two euro. The CX next. We actually get to do a stop off and offload some of this stuff in the bag as we're running out of space. That's a rough Dr. Franken, but a really nice Mega Man seven box. That's selling just a pity about the sticker tear there, but other than that, it looks pretty nice. Poppin' Twin Boo, Mr. Do, or something we already have on Serban Air. Oh, it's okay in there, we're after getting 27.50 back. I have the receipt here. We'll give a full breakdown later on of what we traded in there, but that's going to bring us up to about 65, 66 quid. So we're not too far away from this copy of Twilight Princess. Although it doesn't seem to be popping up anywhere, so that could be another hurdle we have to cross when we get to it. But vouchers building up nicely. We'll keep going. We still have two more stops to go, and we actually have a bag of stuff behind us here that's probably going to help build up that little budget as well. So we mightn't be as far away as we think, but we'll round it all up when we get back to the house. But two more charity shops to go. Let's see what happens. Nothing to write home about, but a euro each. I don't know if the Just Dance is trade as well on Xbox or not. We'll find out. And then Lego Marvel Super Heroes, I think, is like going to be four quid all day long. So two more, one stop to go. Actually, we only have one more bonus stop after this. I'm not too sure, but let's jump into this one and see if we can find that in there. This building's collapsing all over the shop here. Lads, be careful when you're walking around. But there's a few Blu-ray to scan and a good few DVDs, so we'll have a little look off camera and if we see anything, we'll jump back in. Right, so we've got one more little one to pop into here and see if we can find a few bits to end the day out with. So 
So we had a really good day in Drogheda, picked up lots of good stuff that we're going to add to the collection and plenty that we're going to trade up in CEX to build towards this copy of Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U. Now I've got some quick calculations down here. We're so, so close to getting it. So in case you couldn't guess, we're out for one more little mini hunt, just doing the little local runs to try and make up the last few quid that we need to get this game. But we never really talked about balances and stuff like that. So just to give you guys a little update, the last video we started off with 38, we kind of went through the pickups. So I'm not sure if we did an update on how much trade value there was in that, but it worked out at around, I think it was 90 and 50, 20 euros. So that brings us up to around 58 euro in trade credits towards this copy of Twilight Princess. Now, Drogheda, we had a really good day. I have left that pile of stuff at home because I haven't had a chance to film those pickups yet, but we do have an equivalent value pile of trade-in in the boot from all the stuff that's been sitting on the shelf for the last year or two. But really, really good day in Drogheda and we picked up I think it was around 50 euro in trade credit. As I said, the new overall total will be up here anyway. I know that we're like pretty much three or four euro short of having the 110 euro that we need to pick up a copy of Twilight Princess. So as I mentioned, just gonna do the local runs. We're outside the first one now. Let's see if we can pick up a few bits to make up that deficit. And then we're gonna head up to CEX, do this trade in, top up our vouchers and see if we can grab a copy of Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U and close out this little mini series. But like I said, we're outside the first one now. Let's jump in and see if we can find anything in there. Not seen a single game, I've only need a few quid. Is Harry Potter thing trades okay? We'll have to look at that. With the solace, I don't think so. So as you've seen, there was absolutely no joy in that one. No games to be seen. A bit of a pity really, because we normally see the odd one or two up there that we might have been able to bring up to CX and made up the little deficit. But look, we still have four shops to go. Hopefully we find a few bits, because it'd be a real shame to leave this off with like three quid to spare or something like that. I'm sure we can figure something out. We can get this over the line before the end of the episode. So we're going to keep on going down to the two where, I won't say where we never see anything because we found something lately, but down to the two where we rarely see anything. See if there's anything in there and then just hit the other two regular ones. And hopefully by the time we get to the end of those, we'll have enough trade credit to go up to CEX, get our vouchers and get this copy of Twilight Princess. So that wasn't even bigger disaster than normal. The one where you actually kind of see a few bits where you might think you'd get a game was actually closed for no reason. There's people in there, I think they just walked in there. And then nothing to see in the room where we never ever see anything anyway. So just the two stops left. Surely we have to find at least one or two games in here to make this three quid up. But look, we have to keep the fight, we keep moving. See if there's anything in Jack and Jill. Welcome to Ireland, lads. It's boiling sunny when we left the last one. It's pissing rain now. Ooh. Make our way quickly over to Jack and Jill here. All the shot passes are cool. Nature of self or something, Dean. <laughs> this fella I do want to look up. Uh, a few Blu rays here. We'll see if there's anything worth trading in there. 170. 2, 370. These are two euro each, so. Really, we need something that's gonna trade for decent money, but looks like two quid is the most any of them are going for. Yeah, nothing there for us, unfortunately. But we look up this Five Nights at Freddy's pub. And it's a bit all over the shop. 18, 4, 26, 5, 23. That's seven, it's just a bit too much to take a chance. I honestly thought one of those Blu-rays was going to get us over the line, but they were two quid each, and I think the best any of them were trading for was about two euro. Most of them were like 170, so for euro each, they probably would have got us over the line, but not quite enough fat in there to get the three, four quid that we need to get the challenge over the line. So look, we've got one stop left. We have to just hope that we see something down there, or else we're going to get down to CX anyway. We'll do our trade in, see how much trade credit we actually have, and I'm sure we can figure something out for the sake of three quid, but 
anyway let's head down there see what happens okay so we're outside the last stop now if ever there was a time to pray to the gaming gods it's time to pray that we get at least three or worth of trading in here so so let's just all take a moment take a deep breath and we're going to manifest games in the next stop all right let's go okay you can see games in the distance if there's any value in them or how much they're priced for it. Let's wait for this chat to go. So after months of finding no games in here, these are the three that are here. 250, I think it trades for like 70 cents. LMA manager, I know there's one of these that actually does do okay. It's hardly that one, we'll have a look. And then I know absolutely nothing about Alex Ferguson, player manager, but I can't think it's overly valuable. But look, we'll check on the two of those. Um, if not, I don't even see any old Blu-rays or anything like that, so yeah, we're kind of relying on whether we can get anything out of these, otherwise we're going to have to come up with a serious plan B, because this is our last stop at CX, it's the next place we're going to, so may it work something now. So yeah, this is the extent of the pickups in the charity shops today, a 50 cent mop head. Talking about mop heads on the channel. Anyway, we're going to go down to CEX, going to bring the bag of trade in down there, and then we're just going to top up all the vouchers. I think I might have like a stray little three quid voucher or something like that. Maybe that'll be enough to get us over the line. It's kind of a bit of a cheat with the challenge, but like I said, I'm not going to make another whole video out of trying to find three quid worth of trade credit. I think we need to just get down here now, see, well, hopefully we get all our stuff traded in, or else we might have to do another video if they don't take all the games that we have with us. But I think most of them are pretty nice discs and stuff like that. But anyway... No point in worrying about it. Let's get down to CEX. Let's bring our trade in there. We'll jump back into the car and we'll top up our vouchers and see if we finally have enough to get a copy of this Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U. So just heading down to this CEX now. I'm just trying to think how much of vouchers I actually have with me in the wallet. I know in... Jeez, Drogheda, I filmed that about a week ago. I'm kind of a couple of weeks ahead of myself. And when I do that, I can never remember where I am in the Matrix at all. But I'm pretty certain that we got maybe, let's say a conservative 25 quid voucher in the CEX in Drogheda. And I'm pretty sure we got a similar one in Swords. Maybe 27 for some reason is in my head. So I think we've got like 52 quid in vouchers. I do have like a stray 3 euro voucher in there. I'm almost certain the store that's on it is one of the city centre ones. So again, <laughs> I'm that far back in the bloody matrix. I think the video that's going to come out before this one, which I haven't published yet, is the Dublin City one. But that was just a little sort of a guide to game hunting. We didn't pick anything up in that. So it would have been the last time I was in Dublin City where I picked up, was it Super Bomberman maybe that we picked up in one of the CX's there? I can't remember for the life of me. But I think that we did some trade in, we bought that copy of Bomberman, I think we had a three quid voucher left over. So maybe that's the three quid that's going to be the missing link to get us over this challenge, I don't know. But like I said, we're going to go down to the CX here now. I definitely have over 50 quid worth of trade in that bag because I know I picked out some nice stuff with some nice discs that are probably going to have a much better chance of getting through the system that aren't going to get rejected. And I'm pretty sure I put a conservative 70 quids worth in there, knowing that probably one or two won't make it through for whatever reason. So I think either way, what will happen is when we get out of the CX, we should have enough in vouchers to get the game, whether we've earned it all through this little mini series or not, I don't know. So yeah, I can't keep track of cumulatively where all these vouchers have come from, if they are all part of this little mini series or whether a couple of them are just leftovers from sort of the game hunt that we've done before, that I don't know. But look, hopefully we have enough to get Boiler Princess on the Wii U close out this little challenge and then when we get back to the house we'll have a look at it i said i don't think we're going to be picking it up in the shop today you never know we'll get back to the car with the vouchers we'll have a look see if it's in stock anywhere maybe we'll drive down and pick it up just to get it done and dusted but either way i think we'll get back to the game room we'll have a look at it whatever way we end up getting it that'll be the next thing that we see is when we have twilight princess and god only knows how long it's going to take to get a copy of that but uh yeah we'll pick that up and then we'll have a little chat about what we're going to do for our next little challenge whether we'll keep up this sort of building up trade credit and CX and maybe we'll try something a little bit different that people might be interested in but we'll talk about that when we get back to the game room we're just waiting to turn into CX here now so next time you see me we'll be probably back in the car and we'll be talking up the vouchers to see how close we are to picking up this game finally all right so they are actually going to have a look at all the games that I have with me and we're going to get some trade credit for them on the spot which is pretty cool so just having a quick look around in the meantime I actually seen Wind Waker there and for a second I thought it was Twilight Princess it was like what would the odds be but yeah nothing else really too crazy there in the Wii U I have been thinking about maybe picking myself up it's just something for a little present because I haven't really got myself a little game in a while I know to get that statue and stuff a couple of videos ago but you know it's different from getting games for your collection but I don't know, we might pick something nice out while we're in here. We can spot that that we really want for the collection. Anything PSP. Never heard of that. Puzzle Adventure. Nah. Nothing I'm really crying out for on Switch at the moment. There are a few bits on the list, but. Nothing that I'm seeing here. Oh, she has a few GameCube games. 
again, nothing that will really too push it out at the moment. Actually, maybe we should be looking to see if there's any retro over here. Actually, I think this place keeps a good few of the carts behind. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything that worked push for in the collection at the moment so let's just see how we get on with this bag of trade credit all right so we're out of cex did they take all the games that we had in the bag or did we fall just short well no they didn't take all the games there's two here that they didn't grab call of duty 4 apparently is discontinued this is the game of the year edition which is actually worth a decent bit in trade and forza motorsport 4 they're only accepting the two disc version now apparently this one's probably only traded for a, bit, a couple of quid but when we have a look at our voucher, we actually managed to get a grand total of 55 euro in trade credit for what we brought up. So that was pretty cool. I'll show all the receipts. I think I've got another two from the last two trade-ins that we did. I'll show them all back in the game room, but I'm going to get the wallet out now. As I said, there's 55 in that one. I'm going to add up the other vouchers that we have and see if we have enough to get this copy. So today's voucher was 55 euro. The two vouchers that we had were actually one for 27.50 from Drogheda and the one from Swords was 27 euro exactly. So that's 54.50 and 55. So that's 109 euro and 50 cent so we are literally 50 cent shy of picking up the copy of the game you can't make this sort of stuff up but while rooting through the wallet i did find what i had said from earlier on that i did have a little leftover voucher from the little trading that we did in town a few videos ago to a value of three euro i can show it now because it's going to be spent anyway sure there's nothing left over on it someone can be clever and screen grab it and spend it whatever like that but that gives us a total of 112 euro which is enough to buy the copy of the wind waker hd on the wii u so let's get on the phone now let's see where it's in stock and let's go and grab this game so we have it here on the phone now it says that it's in stock let's look and see which store we have to go to to it's in Galway and Limerick. Well, that's a turn up for the books. <laughs> so, do we make our way down to Galway or Limerick? It's like, well, half two in the afternoon. It'll be this evening by the time we get back and I'm on an early shift and work tomorrow. So, are we gonna drive all the way to Galway or Limerick to pick up a copy of Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U? Are we f we're going to do it with the CEX roulette, we're going to bang the vouchers in online, we're going to order it. Next time you see me, we're going to be opening it back in the game room. So, fingers crossed we get a decent copy of it. It's here. Ah, for f So there you go. Whatever it was, four or five episodes, built up €110 Euro in trade credit to get a copy of Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U. And CEX send us one with a reprinted cover. You can't make it up. I didn't think they could actually send reprinted covers in the post. And now I'm even wondering how they even take them in. Do people get like the full value and trade for them? Because I've got a million discs here that I could bring up myself and try and get a few quid from them if that was the case. But it's such a pity as well because this disc is absolutely perfect. It looks like it's never even been played. So, well, that's a bit of an anti-climax. But your look, we'll... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll bring it back up on one of the days off. We'll we'll get our money back for it. We'll get our voucher back and then hopefully it'll turn up somewhere else and we'll have it back for the next one. So, look, we'll call the challenge finished because technically we do have a copy of the game, but rest assured we will be upgrading the copy to a proper original cover in the next video or two. So, we'll update whenever we get it, but yeah. Anyway, lots more stuff to show off in this one. I still have to go through all the bits that we picked up and draw it. And we've got some other stuff that come in as well. So we'll stay positive. We'll get looking at all that stuff now in a minute. All right, so draw the first. I'm just going to go through all the mishmashy stuff because I have a lot of stuff to get through in here. And I'm really conscious of the fact that from doing like a bit of pre-editing, I think we're at about 20 minutes of this already. We don't need to stand here shiting away for the next God knows how long. So this will be a bit of a quick fire around. But yeah, Hot Wheels car, 67 Camaro for Euro. I said about red lines. I think that only really counts for older ones. I'm pretty sure this is a newer car. Can't really see any dates on it as such, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe someone will give us a five for it. Maybe we'll open it and put it on the shelf. Then we grab these army men. I mentioned the advert shop. Hopefully by the time this comes up, we have our stuff ready to go. I've everything photographed. I have the profile set up. I just haven't quite gotten around to kind of list and everything, but keep an eye out on the Instagram and stuff like that. I've probably mentioned the shop a couple of times in this video. If it's not live by the time this goes up, it will be within a couple of days after. So just keep an eye out for that. So yeah, the bag of army men, I don't know. Again, I haven't had a chance to look into them. Pretty cool, definitely something that we can probably sell. We paid two quid. I'd say we can probably get a fiver for those easily enough and someone would be happy to have like a big bag of army men. So I don't know, we'll wait and see. 
This is a game, but I'm going to call it Mishmash because it's just sitting in the box. I did mention it in the video. It was a copy of Meet the Robinsons on the DS. It's card only. Don't know if it's any good. For 50 cents, we weren't leaving that behind. Um, we put it on a little DS shelf behind us and maybe we'll find a box for it one day. Who knows? Picked up two of these wallets in two different places. Now, funnily enough, one of them actually has discs in that. And we'll get to that in a second, but... I just picked these up because I do have a lot of loose disc stuff in the drawers. I kind of have them spread around two big wallets and I kind of have like one half is say PS2, the other half is PS3, of another one that's got like a mix of Xbox 360, Wii stuff, that sort of thing. So I kind of just thought if I can get into more of these smaller wallets, don't really quite take up as much space as the bulk, you know, saying that this is a tin one, this is quite bulky, but you look, as this one was 50 cent, this one was one euro, so we can't really go wrong. But yeah, I just thought it might be easier to kind of have a wallet for each console. So smaller wallets, but like pared down. So this one would be just PS2, this would be just, you get the drift anyway, but that's why we picked them up. But I can't remember which one it is. One of them actually had discs in it, which I didn't even realize at the time. It's not this one, this is completely empty, but yeah, space for a good 30, 40 discs and that, so for Euro we can't go wrong. It was this one here. I don't even think this was with, this was in the, I think this was in the Irish Cancer Society, so this would have been the third stop in the video, if memory serves me correctly. This wasn't even mixed in with games, DVDs, CDs, anything like that, this was just sitting in a little basket while I was kind of floating around, waiting for the queue to ease up at the till so I could go up and buy me a few games, and I spotted this and said for 50 cents, we'll get a wallet. So you're not realising that there was actually discs in there, and there was actually games. Anyway, one of them was We Fit, so can't get enough of that. But the other one was actually this MotoGP, 2010, 2011 for the PS3. Disc is in absolutely perfect condition. And I think with the case and that, I think it sells in CX for around a tenner, and it's probably worth about a fiver in trade, so, I don't know if it's any good. One to keep a hold of it. We find a case for it, we might trade it in. Maybe we'll keep it and have a shove it one day. Who knows? But that's the mishmashy stuff. We'll move on to the pile of games now and have a look at all those. All right, so we have our pile of games from Drada. We talked about the few other little bits and pieces there. We talked about the Meet the Robinsons. I think I have these in order of how I found them. I don't know. I'm just going to separate them out here now. But this first little pile, these are the ones we picked up in the first stop. Now, I did kind of show myself looking on the shelves and stuff like that, but I didn't actually record myself kind of pulling them off the shelves. So I know sometimes people like the footage of me kind of going through them and that, so apologies if we missed out on that. But yeah, we picked up these one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six, eight games. I thought it was seven. I don't know. I'll probably look back at the video now and go, oh, it was actually seven. But the reason I think these were all in the first stop because they were mostly three and a couple of them for two euro. A lot of them I kind of picked up that I don't have that I kind of just wanted to get to have for the collection because they were actually quite nice condition and a lot of them had the manuals and stuff like that. And there was enough in here to trade off to get the value of them back. So very quickly, we'll just go through them. A copy of 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. I don't think I have this one. See, I'm pretty sure I picked this up because it's worth something in trade. As I said, I'll put all the values up on screen. So if I actually did well and got some trade credit out of it, you'll know if I made the balls of it, I'll put it up on the screen anyway. But I think I did mention earlier on the video, all this stuff that we picked up, was probably valued at around 60 euro in trade credit and that was on the conservative side as well with a few bits that we can probably sell off like the stuff that i'll get in a minute patience adam we'll get there they have picked up a copy of call of duty 4 modern warfare which is obviously a trader i think it's still going for about six or seven at the moment and these last few here again mostly kind of collection ones probably the lego ones i say i picked up to trade because they're generally worth a few quid in trade credit again i don't know if we did well on these or not but these three here there's two Lego Indiana Jones, actually one of them's not Lego, it's just Star Wars Clone Wars, but yeah, all of these are fully complete and really clean and in really nice condition, so I don't know, we'll see what we end up doing with them. And then a copy of 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa, I'm pretty sure we have seen this in the channel before, because I remember doing like a little cutscene of all the Vuvuzelas, but um, Vuvuzelas? Is that what you're called? Anyway, I'm not going to torture you with the footage again. But we obviously picked it up because it was worth something in trade rather than to keep. So hopefully that's still the case with that one. LA Noir. I'm actually not sure why I picked this one up. This was really nice condition, fully complete. All three discs are in there, which is a rarity when you see it in the charity shops. And all three discs are actually in really nice condition. Don't think it actually does trade for much. Probably be lucky to get the two quid back. I tend to pick this up because for the longest time I had this sitting in the drawer missing like a disc two. And anytime I seen it, it was always missing random discs here and there. So I just grabbed it thinking that I didn't have a complete copy of it, but I already do. So God only knows what we'll do with that. Probably sitting around forever. And then this last planet tree again, probably only worth a trick tree quid, if even. Picked it up because it was a nice disc, fully complete with the manual and one that we don't have. So we just said, why not? While we're in there and we're seeing games, we'll grab it. Then on to the second stop, we did get a load of Blu-ray. Again, I kind of flicked through the footage on this one. We bought, brought about three of them, I think, up to CX and got the few quid and trade credit. 
I ended up getting stuck with this Prometheus because I'd mentioned that they were all sealed. I had to actually open them in CEX because they won't take them unless they're actually opened. And this one still had some sort of a security fucking thing on it. So if anyone knows how to get these, I think it's like magnetized. If anyone's got any tricks on how to get them off so I can bring this up. I actually have a copy of this on Blu-ray already. I have this exact one. So yeah, if you know how to get them off, let me know so we can get this into the trade pile and get something out of CEX for it because that is really annoying and I'm probably going to end up snapping the case trying to get out at this stage. So the voice in the comments, please. So yeah, then we went into the Irish Cancer Society where we got that wallet and we ended up picking up five games. Now I was flicking through, kind of being a bit fussy with what I got because I wasn't sure how much the games were. Didn't mind if they were kind of two, three quid because I had picked out this Mario Kart. Now I'd shown in the video that it has the Wii party disc in there but it's nice to have a Mario Kart case and manual those discs show up all the time and on the opposite end of the scale Wii Party as I mentioned this is the second time I picked up this disc but I don't actually have a case for it and it's a 30 euro game complete so definitely one to keep an eye out for maybe someone will do an old exchange that'll have a Mario Kart disc that I want a Wii Play disc work it well for both of us so if you've got one of them hanging around and you fancy doing a little trade give us a shout but as I said in the end these all turned out to be about 50 cent each so I probably shouldn't have been as fussy and just pick them all up but Went through all the boxes to make sure there was no other like mixed matches of games and this is what we ended up with. So this copy of Hitman 2 looks like it's got, I don't know if that's mould or if it's just dust or... <laughs> we'll have to have a go at cleaning that up. I don't think we have Hitman 2, I think this is why we picked it up. And rotate the other way. Uh, no, we have Hitman Contracts, that's actually the only one we have there. I think we've got like a, a collection of them on the PS3 or something like that. So. Next one we grabbed was Sims busting out. The odd Sims game trades okay. And uh, I, again, don't know if we have this one. We have a few Sims games there, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just throw it on the shelf. We don't want that. Oh, Jesus, this one is nasty. This actually. <laughs> so it looks like it was kind of used as an ashtray there. And I won't see how I know this, but judging by the tear marks on the front of the manual there, I'd say someone was using those for roaches. So, yeah, this is uh, this was a stoner's game, but you look. Does it? Oh yeah, it smells like smoke. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I don't know. Probably not collection worthy that. I don't know what we'll do with it, to be honest with you. Grab this copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Disc has seen much better days, but as I said, these were all 50 cents, so in hindsight, probably worth it just for a case of manual. And then another one that we grabbed just to trade off, because we don't keep Xbox One games, and we don't really keep modern golf games, was this Mori was this Rory McIlroy PGA Tour, which I'm sure gives back maybe five or six quid in trade, which pretty much covers the cost of a lot of the stuff that we're gonna see here. But then we had two more stops where we got games, so grab those very quickly. See, so yeah, we went to a Vincent's then. I have these two games here, I'm pretty sure I'm, I've shown something else that I picked up in that stop, but you look, you'll know by looking at the video what I grabbed where. But yeah, this copy of Just Dance 2, it's actually really clean. I think it trades for a couple of euro and it was 50 cents. So that kind of, again, another one that goes towards paying for all the games that we picked up. And I showed this in the video as well. We grabbed a copy of Wii Sports. No manual with it, but that doesn't matter because it's going to be trade bait all day long. The disc is, mm, I've seen better, I've seen worse, but I think I have a few Wii Sports discs around. So we'll probably transplant something and trade it off. We got a bonus disc with this one. We got a copy of Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz on the Wii. A game that we actually already have, so... A disc that'll probably go into one of our wallets, like I said, if we find a case one day, we'll complete it. We'll move it on into a trade boil or something like that. And then, in the last stop, we just picked these up. These were a euro each, a copy of, again, or oh, actually, I probably shouldn't have read that. That disc is absolutely horrendous looking, and the case isn't much better either, but Lego Marvel Super Heroes. And then I just dance forward for the 360, just out of curiosity whether they trade as well as the Wii disc. And this was another horrendous purchase, because it looks like the disc is absolutely cracked, so... I kind of cut the footage short in there. The chap that worked in there was kind of over chit-chatting away. So obviously I couldn't really talk about what I was getting. So I just grabbed them. Actually, I think in that shop was the one where he had that Sonic game that had the wrong disc in it, which was a bit of a letdown. So yeah, I grabbed these two and ran, but meh, not really much worth talking about. But we'll move on to... Actually, let's go back to the end of the video where I did the trade-in in CEX. Got my vouchers, then I went to the car, obviously bought the Twilight Princess that turned out to be the feckin' reprinted cover, but we're, we're not talking about that anymore. But while I was in there, I did grab two random games. Let's have a quick look at those. See, I hadn't seen any games that day, just felt like grabbing myself something. So while I was in there waiting for the trade-in, I was having a little look around the shelves, and I got two completely random Wii games that I'd never heard of. When I see Wii games that look interesting that I've never heard of, and they're at the price point these are at, we just picked them up for the crack. But got this... Kokoto Magic Circus. Again, one I don't know too much about, but it looks like a little fun kind of shooter thing we use the Wii Remote. If you're watching this channel long enough, you know I love those sort of games. This was fine, not too bad, no issues with the playing. A few little marks on it from kind of being pre loved over the years, and then a really nice manual in there as well. So a complete Wii game for two euro. 
And then we also grabbed this one. You know, this looks interesting. You'll have to tell me if you played it before, but it's Death Junior Root of Evil. I don't know. Again, another one with a really nice manual in there. So we picked it up for four euro. I don't know what sort of game it is. It looks like it kind of might be a little bit of a, I don't know. It's, it says you can swing the Wii Wii remote for melee combos. It does look like a kind of an action adventure sort of thing. So you know what about it? If it was worth picking up, let me know. All right, so we're getting there with the stuff. One other thing to show off in this video. You've probably seen, was it two videos ago where I actually managed to win that Game Boy in the Facebook group? Still entering the raffles all the time and actually managed to win another Game Boy. This time we managed to get a Game Boy Color. This is absolutely class. So to get two of these, having never owned a Game Boy in my whole life in the space of a few weeks was really cool. But this one came with a couple of games. It came with Toy Story 2. It came with Babe. And it came with a copy of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. So this is my first Zelda Game Boy game. So as you know, being a big Zelda fan, this is a really class one to have. I'm going to pick out a nice little spot on the shelf here. We'll sit this out beside the original Game Boy and we'll get it laid out beside it. But yeah, another really nice competition courtesy of the man Be Kind Rewind Retro, who is repped just behind me here. But yeah, always really nice clean stuff in his competition. So delighted to win this one. And I've actually been doing a little bit of playing on it and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. So you'll have to let me know which generation of Game Boy was yours growing up as as I said, Game Boy OG, I kind of remember a friend having it when I was about eight or nine, never really played it, and just never had any of the other handheld Game Boys. I was all into like Tiger handhelds and stuff like that. And these were kind of, I think these were late 90s, weren't they? So it was probably after my Nintendo 64 years, so I probably was kind of falling out with gaming for a little bit, but yeah, really nice to have this now. This is, am I right in saying this is the teal one? Someone will slot me in the comments for that. But yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments what your handheld was growing up. Well, that's that. Yeah, I'd mentioned that I was going to do a live video. Just haven't had the time with that. I'm really sorry if anyone was looking forward to that. Just between work, getting home late in the evening, trying to get set up for it, having to record bits and pieces for these videos, doing editing, I just haven't had the time at all. So I am going to do the draw for the face plates and i'll pin a comment at the top of this video so when the video publishes there'll be a comment pinned at the top that'll be the person that won the face plate so you can give me a dm on instagram send me an email here on youtube whatever way you want to contact me and i'll get those face plates sent out to you yeah that's about it for this one i do have a few other odds and ends of small things that i haven't opened like the bag of toys from a couple of episodes ago i have got a box from nintendo where i've kind of used up some of my you know nintendo points that you use for logging into the switch every week and you know playing an online game and stuff like that spent a bit of that i might just take some pictures and start doing a few like reels or a few little posts on Instagram or something like that for a little extra bonus content that doesn't sneak into the video. So make sure you're following along on Instagram or Facebook. I'll probably dual post it there as well if you want to keep up with all that stuff. So yeah, that's it for this one. We do have another game hunting video in the bag, so you won't have too long to look forward to that. But at the time of recording this, the this is Sunday and next weekend is going to be the gaming market. So I'm not sure whether we'll probably do the game hunting video first and then we'll throw hopefully two videos together from the gaming market for you to look forward to and enjoy. But if you're watching this and you haven't got tickets for the gaming market yet, make sure that you go and pick them up. It's going to be a class event it's over two days now i've mentioned it a million times everything you could want under one roof there's art there's crafts cosplay tournaments retro games modern games vendors there's everything that you could want for an amazing weekend the link will be down below there's still time to get tickets but there's not many left they're selling out in all categories so make sure that you click the link down below get your tickets for the irish game america and i'll see you there both days next weekend so yeah we'll leave you at that lots to look forward to the next one lots of game hunting a few decent games picked up and even more stuff that's come into the collection ever since too much to squeeze into this video so yeah make sure you're subscribed to the channel lots more really good videos and some really nice stuff to look forward to but yeah thanks as always for watching thanks for sticking to the end and see you in the next one cheers